Hey folks, it's uh, Gavin Lude here from Forge Gym in Inverness. Um, just posting up a little video in response to some questions and even some criticisms we've had regarding how we coach athletes for the sport of powerlifting here at Forge. Um, this, this to me basically just boils down to a statement of the obvious. If you wish to improve your performance in the squat, the deadlift and the bench press, you will have to train the squat, the deadlift and the bench press. Um, now to me that, that seems remarkably obvious but some people seem to have a bit of an issue with that um, now of course I understand that you know there are other things that contribute to performance in the major lifts of course there are but the bottom line for me is that if you want to get good at something you practice doing that skill I cannot envisage an athlete you know say an elite level soccer player for example practicing his playing soccer by playing for 40 minutes once a week but then I see people who tell me they want to get good at squatting but they're only willing to squat once a week. Doesn't make sense. If you want to get good at something, you practice it. The more often you can practice it, the better you're going to get at it. So really for me, training for powerlifting comes down to trying to find a methodology that lets you train as often as possible with meaningful loads in the competition lifts. Everything else in the training program is supportive of that aim. So yeah, there might be... Um, you know, variation lifts, we might use bands and chains sometimes, we might use compensatory acceleration stuff, we might use box squat, we might use a partial lift, and so on and so on. But the reason we're using those things is to add to the frequency or add to the training stimulus. You know, um, I don't believe we can continually hammer the crap out of one rep max and circa max weights, of course not. Um, but I certainly do believe we continually train around about the 80 to 85% mark with no problem at all. Currently, most of the lifters here are squatting, benching and deadlifting three times a week. They are, to me, relatively new lifters. Okay, Over time, that frequency of training and the total volumes that they're doing in a given week will increase. Um, when my GPP was at its best, you know, when my fitness was at its highest, um, I was squatting up to 12 times a week. That wasn't abnormal to me. Okay, um, To be squatting twice a day, no issue at all. Um, it really just comes down to training the body to accommodate to the working load such that you can do that. And the benefit of that is that at any time you can perform at 90-95% of your absolute maximal ability with no problem at all. If you're only training once a week, you'll never have the fitness, you'll never have the actual ability to recover from a greater training workload and you're going to end up banging your head against it eventually. The bottom line is the more work done, the more progress made. And the only way to do that is to practice more frequently than once a week. As I said, to me, that's stating the obvious. I hope it makes sense to you. Any questions, feel free to get in touch. Cheers.